Hi guys, it's Monique from EarlyLearningMom.com. Today I wanted to come on and kind of do a Q&A um, about our journey with um, Doman International and the Institute in Philadelphia. So before I start this video, I want to just make it very clear that this is strictly my opinion, my personal experience, and it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be everybody's experience. So before we get started, I just wanted to, to touch on that. So I get a lot of questions because I made a video a couple of years ago about us transferring from um, the Institute to Doman International. And since then, I get a lot of messages privately and um, asking me about about the differences between the two programs. So I thought I'd get on here. Um, I have some questions written down here on my phone and I thought I would just go through some of them and just share with you guys um, my opinion. So what is the difference between Doman International and IAHP? So they're both, originally they were one organization and they separated and um, have become two separate organizations. Um, we started off with the Institute in Philadelphia and um, then landed up making the decision to switch to Doman International. Um, a lot of the staff um, that were that moved to Doman International we were closer to and so it just felt like a better fit for our family. Um, I have to say that differences between them would be um, for myself I found the Institute to be very um, formal um, and very difficult to kind of communicate with so if there was a lot of formalities and um, a lot of um, less leeway to have like real life happen um, whereas Doman International, I find, um, utilizes a lot of the same program, all of the same programs that Glenn Doman originally created, but he, but they, um, they're open to other treatments. They understand that science is developing. They have, um, uh, somebody that's in charge of innovation and making sure that, um, new things that are coming out, um, finding out if they would benefit the children on the program, and really vetting these different treatments well, and incorporating them into the, you know, tried, tested, and true programs of Glenn Doman. So that's kind of what I see. I find that um, Doman International, they're um, they understand a, more, a little bit more about real life and how, you know, um, sometimes different family dynamics create um, different learning environments for different children and they don't expect um, families to completely destroy themselves emotionally and mentally um, and financially in order to um, better their child. They have a balanced approach that I find. Um, so yeah, that's m kind of my thoughts on that question. Another question I get asked is, do both organizations base their programs and teachings from Glenn Doman? And yes, they do. The basis of both programs were based on Glenn Doman. Glenn Doman is the founder of both organizations. So um, you're definitely getting um, Glenn Doman's programs either um, organization you choose to work with. Um, do the two organizations do the same programs? Yes and no. So they do the, like the core programs, the original programs that Glenn Doman created um, with some brilliant minds like Temple Fay. Those are all incorporated into there. Um, but things develop over time and Glenn Doman you know, he said it himself that he is going to continue. He was going to continue to look for programs to help children. So, well, I can't speak for the Institute because we left there a couple of years ago when we were there. Um, our programs didn't seem any different from programs that other people had been on years prior. 
Whereas with Doman International, I find that every appointment, they seem to have found something new to help Sakari. And I'd say, um, you know, I, I can only think of one program that that was kind of new that didn't really make a difference for Zakari, but I know that program helps some other kids. But then the new programs that they have thrown in, like the Safe and Sound Protocol, um, I think I've talked about that on this channel, have been life changing to Zakari, and that wasn't available a couple of years ago. That is new to um, Doman International. So I think as the two organizations, um, the longer time that they're apart, their cores will be the same, but what they have discovered works for families, um, new programs, new protocols, um, that is going to change over time. It has to, uh, they're, you know, no longer working together on those things. So um, that's my opinion anyhow. Which organization is better and helps deliver more results? Okay. So this is touchy. It depends on what you're looking for. I believe both organizations can deliver amazing results. I think it depends what kind of family you are and um, what you're looking for. If you don't have any questions um, and you want to blindly follow, um, I found that was more the Institute's approach. Oftentimes, if I had questions, if I read something, um, I have um, emails that I went through when Doman International and um, Glendo uh, <laughs> Doman International and the Institute had s separated. Um, we still had a few months left under our. Uh, when you book an appointment, you get six months of um, contact with a coach that's included in your um, package. And we still had a few months left with the Institute. And we contacted our coach and we, I, I was talking to her about probiotics. I said, I read that it's important to switch probiotics. And the email was very, um, like I just wanted her to ask the staff, like, is that something I should be considering for Zakari? And she was very like, well, come to our next, like when you come for your next visit, you can take lecture series three and learn more. And I'm like, okay, that's great, but we're not coming back for three or four months. Could you please check into this? And then it was, if they, they couldn't give me advice because our labs hadn't been updated. And I'm like, I, I don't understand. This is like, I'm not asking to change seizure, seizure medication. Zakari doesn't have seizures, but I'm not asking anything major. It's probiotics and it's a question. Um, I would like you to ask the medical staff this. And she sent me a, a website that I could do my own research. And that's when I got very firm and I said, absolutely not. We paid for this service I would like you to ask the medical staff and the medical staff came back with that's not necessary um, and had a great explanation but it took me a couple of emails to get that out of them so that was very frustrating and every time I would email it would be an advertisement instead of a straight answer it would be an advertisement to take the next lecture series and I might have been more open to take it had I been, you know, really like my questions had been answered, any questions I had, it was just kind of like, follow what you're told. Uh, basically, don't ask, just do. Do what you're told. That's just my opinion. That's what I experienced. Where with Doman International, um, we have a great coach that I can message and ask questions. Hey, I read this. How does that pertain to Zakari? Or I saw this. How does that pertain to Zakari? Is that something we should consider? And he's always wonderful at getting back to me and never pushing me for the next appointment um, or taking the next lecture series. Like the, the Doman International has um, modules that you can um, take, but they are included with your program. Like if you get assigned. Um, um, a physical program and there's a module for it, it's included. So um, I feel like there's a lot less pressure with Doman International um, than there was with the Institute. Um, 
so that's that's just my personal experience with that but um for our family Doman International is definitely the better fit they understand the dynamics of our family they understand the um Zakari they understand that I'm not a stay-at-home mom I'm a work-at-home mom and they are very careful about the amount of programs that they give us they're very good at prioritizing which programs we need to prioritize and which ones are nice to have um, they have always been very supportive of us even in some family dynamic changes that have been happening um, we've been very supported by them when I share um, like blog posts or vlog posts um, they're very open to them they're very happy to have me talk about this where I actually received messages from um, the Institute when I was still in their Facebook group I had shared a post um, about uh, 90 book ideas that I had come up with like different books like for homemade books and at the time we were kind of we, we were on the fence whether we were going to transfer or not and I had posted it on both um, parent groups. The one parent group uh, at the Institute took it down. They told me, literally told me that they have thousands of hours of training and that I have no right to be sharing this with them, uh, with parents. Um, I could do it on my blog but I couldn't share it in their community. and. It was actually kind of an advertisement for them like hey look these homemade books people are really intimidated by homemade books and I was showing with them look at all these great ideas like you don't it's super easy to make homemade books and I was just showing them as a parent how I was doing this program I wasn't teaching them how to teach reading with homemade books nothing it was just making the books um, so I was basically told you can do you on your blog it's not welcome here 10 minutes later I get a message from staff at Doman International saying we love this post we've shared it we would like you to write a guest post on our blog just two different responses to the same article and um, I would have to say that a Doman International really like um, encourages parents to work together um, to share materials to um, you know they will help families like if they want to they need a respiration machine they will help families try to resource one from another family that might be done with theirs um, to make it more cost-effective so um, yeah that that's kind of I lean towards Doman International, but I mean, the Institute, um, they do great work too. Um, so at the end of the day, it's what you feel comfortable with. Um, I don't feel comfortable with the um, kind of the, f I don't know how to put this, feeling like when everything's so formal and you, Mr. and Mrs. and this, that, and the other, and these formal letters, but the f people are not really helping. They want you to sign up for the next thing and you're not getting your answers. Um, my radar goes off that that's phony. Um, whereas with Doman International, I can have an co honest conversation with them. They call me by my first name. Um, I'm not correcting them that I'm... I don't have the same last name as my son and um, with uh, the Institute no matter how many times I corrected them they still called me by my son's last name and so it was just that was the way they ran things and it, it just kind of yeah that rubbed me the wrong way too um, I would rather have be less formal and get to the bottom of things than the formalities and feeling like I'm important um where of course i'm the parent and i am important but to the program but i yeah just all these formalities and everything it was just a little off putting um why are the two organizations separate <laughs> oh my goodness this almost needs a separate video um it was a messy split and i think the institute could have handled it better and that is my opinion 
Um, but we received an email as parents giving us the option that if we wanted to, we could either go with, um, it was supposed to be the, the North American Institutes and the European Institutes. And everything seemed fine, but it was kind of weird. Like our coach got pulled immediately um, because he was going to the European Institute um, and we were assigned somebody else. And it seemed like it was like a mutual split, like they were still going to work together, but still be um, separate organizations. And then we got a really weird email from Janet. And I could go into detail about it, but all I can, it, it doesn't really matter. What matters to me as a parent that read this email was the lack of professionalism in this email. They discussed who they had fired from the Institute. They listed off um, people that were that now run Doman International and really tried to villainize them. Um, they talked about them using unapproved doctors in India. And um, I now worked with those doctors with Doman International. Um, they are far from unapproved. Un uh, proven doctors. They are legit functional medicine doctors and they are wonderful. Um, but I look back at that letter now and I laugh that they were villainizing the doctors, villainizing the staff, um, saying that they had fired them. It was just this like long rhetoric of the, you know, I, I just read it. And when I read it, I lost a lot of respect for the Institute just because I think there are better, more professional ways to handle this. Um, they make it out to be that um, it was all underhanded and this, that, and the other, but it sounds very, very, very controlling. Um, I could go into a lot more detail. If you guys want me to go into more detail about these uh, letters and stuff like that, that we received or emails that we received um, from the Institute during the time of the split, I'd be happy to go into more detail about it. Um, but for now, for the purpose of this video, um, the reason they split was, it seems like a lot of, um, they wanted to go different directions. Um, and it seemed like the Institute wanted to be in utter and complete control. That's just a parent looking in. Um, obviously, I don't know a lot of the back workings of this, but I can just tell you from the email, it sounded very controlling, very manipulative, and it made me as a parent feel very uncomfortable and to lose a lot of respect for Janet Doman. And I had a lot of respect for her. But when I read this email, it just seemed like somebody that was losing control of a situation and was trying their best to manipulate and villainize, um, manipulate the parents and make um, what is now known as Doman International look like an absolute villain. And I say this um, too, because I see other things in the situation when it, it seemed to have gotten really messy because Janet was very, very adamant and that the they were not going to call it the Doman method, even though that's what parents called it. And so when the Institute went on their way, there was a, um, they called it the Doman method. And then I noticed on the Institute website, they started calling it the Doman method, where Janet had been on record numerous times talking about how that's not what Glenn Doman wanted. And this is not what they were going to do and blah, blah, blah. Um, it has been taken down. Um, it's my understanding that, um, Doman International actually won the trademark for, um, the Doman method, um, phrase. But I also know that, um, my good friend, um, Liz at the Doman mom was attacked. Um, she actually had, um, a letter from a lawyer from the Institute sent to her to take down the materials that she had created um, to help parents um, 
run the programs for well babies uh, from the um, how smart is your baby book just some like check marks and stuff like that but because I guess she used the logo um, and that she had a donate button at the bottom just to help her pay the bills for the the website itself um, she had this um, order uh, sent to her and if when I was taking the course in Philadelphia with the Institute, everybody in that room had heard of Liz from Dome and Mom and were inspired to take the course because of Dome and Mom. So um, the fact that she was sent this letter when she has created so much free advertisement for the Institute, it just blew my mind. So it just, after reading the email or the uh, letter sent from a lawyer to Liz, I can see the control that's happening there. And as a parent, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But I, as a parent looking in, I see a very controlling person trying to um, make sure that what the Institute is doing is for the elite. It is only for, it's, it's, no, it's to help the select people that can afford to go to the Institute. It's not uh, there to help everybody. Whereas um, Doman International, you have Saturdays with Spencer, weekly, um, free webinars, there's so much free information and there's not like there's actual valuable content being given in those it's not just a hook like oh we can help you take this course we can help you take you have this problem take this course he actually offers some valuable insight so um yeah I kind of went on a ramble of how they're separated um it, it's just I felt that was really important though to explain the heart that's going into this um yeah i like i said as soon as i got those emails um i could see the manipulation in there and i can also see when i was working when we started working with doman international the difference in the staff that we were working with they were legitimately happier. When we were working with them at the Institute, these same people, they had, you know, very serious faces. They were very serious. They were following protocol. Whereas when I worked with them at Doman International, I felt like they were real people. I felt like um, working with Rosalind, that she's like a mom figure, like to me. I She's raised her kids and, um, you know, we had gone some, through some really tough times and I was um, really concerned that we weren't going to have gone that far with Zakari. And I explained the situation. I explained what we did with Zakari and she was just so supportive and she made me feel so competent as a mom when I walked in there thinking I really screwed this term up. Um, just supportive and... Um, you know, and then when we were going through some other difficult life changes, she was super helpful too. So yeah, that's, you know, what we're coming down to here. Um, okay. Sorry about that. Um, the memory card was full, so I had to, um, just delete some things and, um, anyhow, I think I talked enough about why the two, um, organizations split and my kind of opinion on it and how it was handled, um, as a parent that kind of went along with that. Um, yeah, I think I, I went through that enough. So, um, the next question is, are the people who created the, Do oh, created Doman International actual Doman experts? The register at IAHP told me they are copycats and don't have experience. Okay. Before I answer this question, this is a question from somebody. Um, I did not actually ever hear, um, the Institute say this. This is just, um, so I have to be very clear about that. I don't want, um, this is just what was asked of me. And so I'm going to answer. Um, I hope it's not true that is being said, but anyhow, it's laughable. 
is absolutely laughable to say that the the staff at um, Doman International are copycats and are not experts because um, you have Douglas Doman, you have Rosalind Doman, you have Spencer Doman, you have Melissa Doman, just to name a few. The all of that those staff were staff that we worked with at the institute. Um, so unless they're saying that their staff is not experts in the Doman method, it, that, that's just a complete lie. They, um, they were the staff at the Institute that we connected with, our family connected with the most. Um, Glenn Doman is, um, their father, their, uh, grandfather, their, um, father-in-law, grandfather-in-law, um, they worked and were mentored under him. Um, it, it's just laughable. I mean, I could go on about this question, but it, it's just laughable. No, they are not copycats. They were two separate organizations. They were one organization that separated and both have the core of the Doman method, Glenn Doman's programs that he created, and they have gone separate ways. They are not copycats. They are they have more alike than dis like that. Yeah, they're more alike than anything. Um, just how their organizations are run are different. Okay, so the last question is, which organization is the right pick for my family? What are the pros and cons of each? Okay, I'm not gonna go into the pros and cons because I think I did do a lot of that. Um, um, but you're just gonna have to follow your gut. You're going to have to um, listen to other families, talk to families that are on both programs, talk to families that have been on both programs, and that will give you um, the best um, idea on how they were treated. Call both programs if you want to, and do your own research, and figure out where you feel more supported. Now, don't let any fear tactics um, um, dictate you on what you're going to do. Um, do know they're both, they both run Doman, like programs created by Glenn Doman. But um, for me, I will give you my honest opinion on what's best for my family. Now this is not necessarily for everybody's family and I understand that. But for me, if Doman International dropped off the planet tomorrow. Aliens abducted them and they're all gone. I don't know. I, I don't see them going anywhere. So that's why I'm being so radical about it, but they disappeared. And my only option was to go back to the Institute. I would not go back. And I will tell you this, it is the way I have seen them conduct themselves and the way um, I was treated as a, as a parent I will never go back to the Institute. Now that being said, they probably wouldn't take me back um, if they've seen some of my videos. Um, that's neither here nor there though. Given the choice, I would not go back. I would continue to do the programs that we learned um, through our training with Doman International. And I would, um, yeah, I would just continue to, it would be more difficult, obviously, because I would have to navigate a lot of this on my own. Um, but under no circumstances would I, as a parent, go back to the institutes in Philadelphia, um, which is really sad because I met a lot of great people there. Um, the experience was, um, it, like, it was a a great experience to bond with all of these families in the freezing cold auditorium um, but just the way the staff is conducting themselves or, or like no, not necessarily the staff I haven't dealt with the staff a lot just the way um, Janet Doman has conducted herself with those emails um, yeah you won't catch me stepping foot on that property again nor will they see a single dollar from me ever again um, so yeah that that's that's my opinion it's not necessarily um, everybody else's opinion that has been on this program um, yeah I, I've just kind of yeah that, that's 
pretty much, I have to be careful what I say because I don't want to um, slander anybody, but I do want to share my experience and I do want to give this review of both organizations and answer these questions that a lot of um, people are asking me and I figure if I put it in the format of a video I can spend more time on it and give you um, more detailed answers and some people may be wondering uh, may have wondered these questions themselves but just never felt they could ask me so anyhow if you have any other questions down below um, about the difference between the two programs anything about that feel free to drop it down in the comments down below and I hope this has been helpful and I hope that um, you are able to use it to make the right decision for you and your ch child or children um, that may want um, that may benefit from either program um, so anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys next time.